Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. We hope that you guys had a great weekend. We spent our weekend hanging out with friends and getting ready for a big trip. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things that we are packing for this trip and you're gonna wanna stay tuned until not this video, but the next video because we have a really big announcement for you, which is why all of these tools are gonna come in handy. So let's get started. Life on the homestead, always an adventure. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. The first thing that I worked on was, like always, cleaning this camper. We are taking the camper for this trip. Um, me and the kids will be gone about a week. And then Jamie and Henley will come down end of the week and hang out with us. My dad, granddad, is also going and he is going to be my help for this week. So camper is coming with us. I got the beds and stuff done and we're working on packing it up. Henley had so much fun at the horse barn with our friends, Amy and Charlie. She got to feed the horses, she got to brush the horses, and Java's shoe was falling off. So she got to also see Amy take that off and kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, when we first got there, she was really, really timid and scared. But by the end, she was leading the horses out to pasture and petting them and feeding them. She had so much fun. And of course, she has already asked for riding lessons. So we are looking into that for her. Do the pole where it doesn't hurt for him? No. So this, he can't feel this. Kind of like how whenever you clip your toenails, your fingernails, you can't feel that. This is like his fingernail. So if you get too deep in his foot, then he can feel that. But this is just his fingernail, basically. So the nails go through there and they come out on the outside and they bend them over so they hold onto the foot. Yesterday, while I took Henley to the barn to help a friend take care of the horses, Dad and Jamie went through this shed and they emptied the entire shed. I think the boys helped too, but they emptied the entire shed out, well, this front section, and they made two piles, a pile that is going to stay here and a pile that is going to go. And this is the pile of everything that is going to go with us. There's a couple other things as well, but this is the main pile that is gonna go with us. And you see we kept, we had like triples of everything. So this is the stuff that's gonna go. And then some other stuff as well. Here are some of the power tools that are going to go. They're not that tractor. That tractor's not going, that tractor's staying, but the weed whacker, the chainsaw, the fuel, all of that's gonna go. This uh, lawnmower is going to go with us, the spare tire for the camper, and some of these tools are gonna go. So our goal is to fit all of these tools and all of the stuff we need in this truck and that camper. That is the goal. We're gonna see if we can actually do this. In my quest to take as many plants from this homestead to our forever homestead, I'm gonna dig up these two maple trees and get them potted up for winter. And I can also see, you see that coneflower right there, the seeds are ready on that. So I might cut off the seeds from these coneflowers here and put them in a bag so we can take them as well. Um, actually, I might winter sow them. So stay tuned for that one. I might decide to winter sow them instead. But those two maple trees are gonna come out. It 
we have been saving the pits from the plums we've been eating this week and I'm gonna stick them in this pot and see if we can grow. Always an experiment. Not sure if it will work, but free tree is a free tree. Hi guys, we did have a butterfly in clothes today, so I am walking out to the enclosure to let it out. It looks like we will have two more that will come out either tonight or tomorrow. So we'll have more to release. To collect seeds from the purple cone flower, all I'm gonna do is just take a pair of scissors. See like these, they're really dry and you can see like the white and just snip. It's not you and you probably saw the seeds spring off when I did it. And then I will just put them in a brown paper bag and we will extract all of the tiny seeds later. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today. I hope you guys enjoyed our homesteading adventures. Like always, if you have a question, please make sure you leave it in the comments below and visit our website for more tips and tricks and inspiration for your own, for your own homestead. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you guys soon.